Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, this morning I have a quick video I just wanted to share uh, another one of my Etsy orders and how I packed it up. I didn't have a lot of feedback as far as uh, style, color, or theme so I just went with what I thought might work. I used this Park Lane Old World uh, paper pad. I love this paper pad and I recently found it again at Joann's uh, and I was able to use a 40% off coupon. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I have two of these. And I used, probably won't see it in here because I already used it. Oh, here it is. This one here, I used this paper pad for this order. Sorry, it's early morning. I had to turn my overhead light on because it was uh, given too much glare. But this is what I did with the 12 by 12. I made one of my, um, uh, these are lunch uh, sacks. And I got them on clearance at my local grocery store. So, <clears throat> excuse me. And they had boxes and boxes of them. And they were at a good price. So I took them all. So I still have quite a stack of these. So this is what I've been making. I wanted the pockets to be clear. I normally use the uh, 45 pound tracing paper for for this one here, um, I used, I'll try not to have an avalanche here, and I might, oops, hang on, my paper pad wants to misbehave. There we go. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I use these standard sheet protectors. Uh, I got this box and I'm pretty sure it was a full box years ago at the um, thrift store. And they've been in my stash. I actually forgot about them until recently. But, I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of real estate here. It comes with a paper in there and, you know, so I just have been cutting these up and using them for my pockets. So I got, I'll have these for quite a while. So I used them for the pockets and, <clears throat> excuse me, what I did was added some uh, trim that I have and I think I probably used the last of it on there. I might have just a, a little bit left. I'm not really sure. But, um, and then I took a, a piece of the, um, the paper um, and folded it in half. I think I did one inch, maybe, and, and scored it in half and then sewed it on the top of the pocket. So it would give it stability so I've been doing that a lot and I kind of like that so if you would like to see how I assemble these pockets like that just let me know and I'll do an another video on these but this is what I did all with the 12 by 12 I made that and then I made their tag that I put on their thank you card and this is just one of those envelopes and I ran it through my rose embossing folder and it has a cardstock in there as well I won't take that off and then I just did this bird um, on the top of it I didn't do it like where it's in within the, the tag I just did it on top so when I die cut it out it kind of mashed it in there so it's kind of cool it looks like it's in there but it's not and then I made the scraps or I had some scraps and I made a little tag here 
for her. This is for Jane. So there's that. And then I cut out one of the stitch slots uh, by Sizzix. I had enough to cut one of those out. That and a little label. So there's that. And then I have a... This is a little frame. It's by Sizzix. It's embossed. And this center part comes out. I put some washi tape on it to keep it together in case she wanted to use it for something. So I'll just leave that in there. And then I already had one of these um, houses cut out in my stash, so I included that. It's in the uh, cream color, and it kind of kind of goes. And then I had a key, an extra key that was cut out. And this is um, two. 65 pound paper glued together and then die cut out so it gives it stability because you could tie it on a page or or on a dangle or something and then I cut her out I have that let's see where did I put her I don't know what the name of this is, but it's um, Mary Ann Designs. It's Creatables, and they have several different um, designs. Um, this is the only one, and I'm pretty sure I got this at um, Tuesday morning here when it was open. They've, they've since closed it down. But yeah, sorry. It's a pretty cool design, but it's just that. I just keep a piece of copy paper in there so it pops out nice, but that's that. Oh, and then I made um, one of the uh, My Fancy Pockets with the label. I made one of those, and I just usually paper clip that on there so it doesn't get lost and then I just made a tag to go on the inside so that's what I made with the 12 by 12 I probably have a little bit scraps left and then this is the order it's the computer paper that I have in my shop and I use this stamp set here and this I did get at um, Tuesday morning as well it's a really cool stamp set Sheena by Sheena Douglas um, stately home I don't know if you can still get this on um, eBay or Etsy but they have different designs and they're kind of like vintage vibe theme. I really like this one here. That's cool. But yeah, I used her and I just used the um, archival coffee ink. And then I made the tag. Let's see if I can show you this tag up close. I use the same color. This is a new tag. You grab it. It's probably going to be my new favorite now. It's by Sizzix and it's their frame tags. Really, really cool. So they're framed. They have that indentation so they frame it out. I'm hoping the camera is picking that up. Oh, yeah, it is. So that's kind of cool. And it comes with two sides of your hole reinforcer, the round, and then it has the other, I call them like ornate uh, hole reinforcer. And it shows it on here, this here. So you get two different sizes, which is nice. And then you get that 
that as well. So and then I've already have my measurements uh, on each item what to cut them out as if I were going to cut them out. And then I have my samples on the back. So you have three different size tags plus two size whole reinforcer, no, three different style whole reinforcer. So that's that. Um, so I'm going to get this wrapped up and get it in the mail. I just wanted to share what you could do with one um, 12 by 12 uh, paper. So I just kind of went through my um, uh, my dies and everything to see what I thought would look good and uh, you know hopefully my customer can use all of that so all right that's it for today um, enjoy your Saturday we are possibly getting a storm that was in Florida that storm Nicole coming up through here we've been doing a lot of prepping because we're supposed to get snow uh, Sunday today Saturday so it's been busy it's been busy so everything has to be put away and uh, transferred to the big barn and yeah it's I call it shenanigans but. all right take care thanks for watching um, have a good day. Bye.